Hello, and welcome to the third video in this series. Today we'll be learning how to use uSequencer's observer timelines. An observer timeline is basically a way for uSequencer to automate camera cuts. uSequencer will deal with disabling and enabling the appropriate cameras automatically. You'll see in this scene we have three cameras. Two cutscene cameras up here, and one gameplay camera. By default, the only enabled camera is the gameplay camera, and we will use uSequencer to automatically turn on the cutscene cameras when needed. As you can see, we've already set up a cutscene with one observer timeline and two property timelines. The observer timeline is automatically added to every cutscene you create. So you'll see that this sequence already has two cutscene cameras attached to it. And each of these cutscene cameras have a property timeline, defining their path. You'll see for the first 5 seconds, we're animating cutscene camera 1. And for the second 5 seconds, we're animating cutscene camera 2. So essentially all we need to do now is set up a couple of camera cuts to define how the camera should change. You can do this quite simply by context clicking on the observer timeline, and selecting the correct camera. In this case, cutscene camera 1. Now we want to just move this to the start of the cutscene, so it's the first thing that happens. And then at this time, which we can see in the inspector is 5 seconds, we want to switch to cutscene camera 2. Again, we just context click and select cutscene camera 2. U-sequencer deals with everything else for us. Let's just select that observer keyframe and ensure that we got the right time. You'll see that as we scrub the timeline, uSequencer automatically updates the camera status for us in the hierarchy. Cameras will automatically be turned on and automatically turned off appropriately. Now let's hit play to see how our finished camera cuts look. We'll be releasing more videos in the future. You can follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, or check out the UC Gunster website for more information.